Today, I want to go over something that has been a rising topic of discussion in the sneaker community lately. If you're on social media and follow sneaker news related accounts and pages, then you may have seen a lot of the exciting rumored shoes to be releasing next year in 2025. For what feels like almost a year now, we have been teased with photos of a lot of major potential sneaker releases from Jordan brand for 2025. Black Metallic 5s, Shattered Backboard 1s, White Cement 4s, Taxi 12s, Flu Game 12s, Grape 5s, Ferrari 14, Red 11 Lows, Black Cat 4s, Reimagine UNC 1s, I mean, should I go on? After some initial incitement, I'm sure a lot of us were asking why. Why is Jordan Brand loading up 2025? Why are they giving us so many classics that we've been asking for all at once? Are they finally just, you know, giving us what we wanted instead of, you know, diluted, random colorways? Or is there something else to this? The state of the sneaker market feels like it has been dying for the last couple of years. With Jordan Brand specifically, there have been so many colorways of the popular models to release where supply is starting to surpass the demand. This isn't all entirely a bad thing though, because, you know, now it's a lot easier for folks to get a hold of the sneakers they want, you know. If they want a pair of 4s or a pair of 3s or a pair of 1s, they can go into Foot Locker or some other sneaker shop and they can probably find a pair that they want for retail. Of course, there are still those pairs that will sell out instantly upon release. But the hype for models and colorways for the Jordan 1s and the Jordan 4s just isn't what it once was. Couple this with the rising retail prices and you can definitely see the demand for Jordan slowly disappearing. I know a lot of people will wait for weeks after pairs release to see if they can find them at the outlets or other stores for a discount. Nike is definitely feeling this, you know, a lot of people have talked about how can we as a community or even Nike kind of fix the sneaker market or at least the Jordan market and re-spark the hype for the shoes there once was. Some folks have suggested more collabs, but in my opinion, th that only, you know, gets you so far until it also starts to feel played out. Other folks have suggested Nike cut back on the releases as a whole to slowly recreate that demand. This has led people back to that long list of potential 2025 releases. Is Jordan Brand loading up 2025 in a sense to close the vault entirely? It does make a little sense. Nike and Jordan Brand may be thinking about closing the vault for, you know, a long time for Jordans as a way to recreate that hype over time. In a way, 2025 could be like Jordan Brand's Last Dance, giving the community exactly what they want before locking away everything for years as a way to keep everyone satisfied for a while. I mean, I don't know about you, but my wallet is definitely going to need a long time to recover after all these releases next year. Of course, this is all just, you know, a topic of discussion. I'm not saying, you know, this is what's going to happen or this is, you know, Nike's plan or anything. Overall, it's probably highly unlikely that this is the case, but it's definitely an interesting thought. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below, and if you know any other videos that go over this similar topic, please comment those down as well, because I'd love to hear as many thoughts and perspectives on this as I can. But, you know, no matter what happens, I'm looking forward to 2025, as it's looking like it's going to be a major year for Jordan Brand. Let me know what release you're looking forward to the most. I'm really looking forward to the Taxi 12s and the White Cement 4s. There's also rumored to be those SB 4s in different colorways coming out. That's going to be exciting. But that's about all my thoughts for this video. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys again soon. Peace.